Hi and welcome. My name is Ishaq. In today's video, we will build our first WX Python program. Now, if you have searched this video, then I'm sure that you must have introductory knowledge. What is WX Python and what is GUI program? So no need to explain. So when you install successfully WX Python, then you should watch this video. So after installation, you will be able to import a module whose name is WX. Then we will create a main loop. So here I will create a variable app and it will hold the app instance. After that, I will call the main loop of app main loop so if i run this code the program will execute but there will be nothing to show so we will create a window in this loop let's say window is equal to wx dot frame and inside this frame object we will provide some parameters first parameter will be known which symbolizes that this frame doesn't have a parent window and here I will pass the parameter title is equal to hello world this would be our windows title hello world then the size of window in pixels size is equal to 400 and 400 the first value is the width of the window and the second value is the height of the window and we doesn't provided the position of the window so it will be chosen by the system now if we run our discord we will still have nothing to see because this window is by default hidden so we will first show it before the loop gets started window dot show so let's run our code and we got our first empty GUI running. Now it's a good practice that the window should be spawned at the center of the screen. So for this we will call its special method which is center on screen. So now anytime when you run this code the window will always appear at the center of screen and it appeared on the center. Now we want to put a hello world label in our window but before this we have to call a container object whose name is panel. We can directly add our widgets into the window but it's not good practice and it's not flexible. So let's create a variable let's say width span and assign it the object wx.panel. And I will provide it a single parameter which will be the parent. So its parent will be the window. Then after that we will put our label widget in that width span. So now create a label widget. Let's say hw is equal to. For labeling we have a widget whose name is static text. Whose text cannot be modified or selected let's say static text and i will provide two parameters first will be its parent so its parent will be the width span and second will be the label label is equal to hello world hello world now let's run our code and we got hello world but i think its fun is too small to change the fund, we have to create a fund object. So let's create a fund object. Let's say hwfund equals. Now I will provide four required parameters. First parameter is the fund point size. Second is the fund family. For example, let's say front family Roman and third parameter is whether the front will be italic or normal so I will say it is italic 
and the last required parameter is whether the font will be bold or normal so I will say it is normal so when we created our font object we will apply it on our static text widget set font and pass our created font now let's run our code and we have successfully changed our labels font now I think we need to move it little bit from the corner so for this we will provide the position argument for the HW which defers to 0 0 position is equal to 2020 20. the first value is that it will be moved 20 pixels on x axis while the second value shows that this widget will be moved on y axis 20 pixels so let's run our code and now everything is looking fine but if you want that the hello world will be at the center and it will be always at the center even if you are resizing the window then it is not very easy and what we learned in this video is enough so it involves in very easy steps and i hope that you would get it well that was our end of video i hope you enjoyed see you next time bye bye